get a situation on the exam where you have to use uh, integration or integration by parts to uh, solve a definite integral. Okay, and if that's the case, it's the same idea. We just got to keep in mind that we're plugging in our upper and lower limits uh, of integration. All right. So what we have here is 2x sine x dx, and we're trying to find the integral of that from zero to pi over two. So we're still doing our integration by parts right here. We still need to select an appropriate u, all right? And we know that when we derive, if we look at the two terms, we derive 2x, that derives to 2. If we derive sine x, that derives to cosine x, which is still trig. So it seems easier to basically use u to be the polynomial 2x, all right? So we're going to have u, I'm going to change colors here real quick. We'll have u equal to, uh, to 2x. And dv will be the sine of x dx. So we have to derive u to get du, which will be 2dx. And we have to anti-derive dv to get v. And the antiderivative of sine x is? Yes, it's the opposite of cosine x. All right, so we have the opposite of cosine x right there. All right, so now we can do our integration by parts. So we head down here. And this is equal to u times v. So u is 2x, and v is the opposite of the cosine of x. So if you can just take that negative sign and push it to the front, so we have negative 2x cosine x. Okay. Now we took an antiderivative, and we still have our bounds. Remember. Okay. So this is being evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. Okay. But we're not done with our parts because we still have the difference, and we have to bring in the antiderivative. Our bounds stay the same, 0 and pi over 2. Okay. And our expression is v times du. Well, v is the opposite of cosine x. du is 2 dx. So again, they're being multiplied. I'm just going to rearrange the order slightly with that negative sign. So what we end up having here is negative 2 cosine x dx. Hopefully that's still all on the screen. Yes, it just near squeeze in. Okay. So there's our next expression. Now, we do need to evaluate this, and we'll do so in a moment, okay? But let's take care of our anti, uh, our next integral as well. Let's try and get this down so we can just evaluate everything, okay? Now, we see the negative 2 on the inside, all right? So what are your minds thinking as that coefficient? You know, let's move it out. So we have the negative already, so if we multiply those two together, we actually have plus 2, all right? And we have a much nicer looking integrand there. We know that the antiderivative cosine is, yep, yeah, it's sine. All right, so what we're looking at here is negative 2x cosine x being evaluated from 0 to pi over 2 plus 2 sine x, and that's also being evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. Now we evaluate these two expressions right here, and we're going to come up with our final answer. Okay, so what happens when we plug in the pi over 2? Right, so we have negative 2 times pi over 2, cosine of pi over 2, and we are subtracting, right? and then now we plug in 0, so negative 2 times 0, and then the cosine of 0. Okay, that's a lot going on there, and I know your mind's already simplifying that. Just bear with me for a second. All right, plus, and now we have 2 times the sine of pi over 2 minus 2 times the sine of 0. Okay, there's our second part of our expression. And if it helps to kind of group these together, you absolutely can do that. If that helps you see everything, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, so what's going on here? Well, we see 2 times, a negative 2 times pi over 2, but we also see the cosine of pi over 2, and we know from our trig common value chart, the cosine of pi over 2 is equal to what value? And that's equal to 0, so this whole term is going to 0. And then over here, well, we have 2 times 0, so that term's going to 0. All right, plus... Then we have twice the sine of pi over 2, more trig common values, sine of pi over 2. Now that's going to be 1, all right? So we have 2 times 1 minus twice the sine of 0. Sine of 0? That would be 0. Yes, all right? So 2 times 0. Okay, so if we put all this together, we have 0 plus 2. So our final answer is 2. And with these problems, you can actually check them on your graphing calculator using your numerical integration there, that math 9 command that you uh, previously learned, and uh, we can verify that our answer is actually going to be 2.